Okay, so this video is showing how to make a DIY drift button. Um, this is basically so if you got a daily driver, um, <clears throat> you don't want a drift button in your car all the time because once you put them on, you can't really take them off. Um, and it's, I don't know, if cops see it, I guess, you know, it's, it looks pretty bad. So um, <clears throat> this is a way you can just have, you know, no button um, just for drift pack. And then you can remove it afterwards. So what you do is you just um, take your boot off just slips off pretty easy um, and then what you do is just wrap some electrical tape around here and then just wrap it around and it'll just hold the button in um, obviously click the button in first so like the uh, button has no sort of tension on it and then uh, tape it up and then you can you can uh, handbrake all day now uh, you probably want to put the uh, boot back on which is a bit, a bit of a mission without the button because you sort of need it in like the fully up position um, but yeah, you get it on and then uh, it's nice and comfortable. And then after drift brake, you can just take the electrical tape back off and uh, you get yourself handbrake again. Now, um, while I was here, I also retensioned the handbrake just a little bit. Um, as you can see, my handbrake tension starts there. Uh, it used to start a little bit up here and it was kind of useless. Um, the actual full bite of it would be like just that full extension and um, you can't really get enough. Well, I'm pretty weak, so you can't really get enough force um, in there. I don't really use my handbrake anyway, but um, yeah, now it's there, and then when it actually is fully locked up, it's about there, so that's pretty good now. Um, to tension it, all you do is just that little nut down there, um, just pull it up. Uh, you probably want to do this when you don't have the button in, but um, uh, just pull it up and uh, turn that in, so turn it clockwise to tension it more. Um, you don't have to turn it much, I probably only turned it maybe one turn, or one and a half turns, and then uh, it reduced it by a fair amount, so yeah, that's pretty good now, I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, that's a removable and DIY drift button, on the cheap, totally DIY. Cheers for watching my video guys, catch you later.